A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, the Rebellion established an elite school for the top 1% of its pilots. Its purpose was to teach the lost art of aerial combat and to ensure that the handful of men who graduated were the best fighter pilots in the galaxy. Oh, wait. That's Top Gun. That's right, it's your main man Z here, and I am here to discuss some troubling news in the Star Wars universe. Yes, there's been some things announced, and it's a little strange. We're going to break it down because there's a kind of a sad story in here, and I think you guys are going to be interested in this one. As you may or may not know, we follow a lot of the Star Wars uh, mythos and things that are going down here, along with other geek culture stuff and things like that. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. It does a lot for us, but let's get into the articles, and we're going to break it all down for you. Looks like Rogue Squadron was taken off the Disney release schedule. Now, for some of you who didn't know that there was going to be a movie about Rogue Squadron, this seems to be the last movie that Star Wars had on the release schedule. All the other Star Wars properties are Disney+. Plus. So what does that mean? Uh, and, and this story only touches a little bit, but the, it's a Patty Jenkins film. For those of you who don't know, directed Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 2. Uh, you know, pretty well-established director. And, um, you know, we've already heard stories of that Taiki, Taika Waititi's Untitled Star Wars installment. Yeah, that ain't going to happen either. Uh, the According to the Rogue Squadron thing, is the film has not begun production. That's not quite true, according to what we've been reading. So let's go back in time, and we'll talk a little bit about it because it's a little unclear, but maybe as we uh, dig deeper, we can we can uncover this. So let's go back in time a little bit. Patty Jenkins exit Cle exits Cleopatra. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on with Hollywood here, but I think that there is definitely a great reset happening in Hollywood. And maybe certain directors have become unfavorable Maybe it's based on the performance of Wonder Woman 1984. HBO uh, has a new CEO, David Zaslav, who clearly is getting to look at the numbers and seeing everything, and he's going, wait a minute. I'm not paying all this money for all this crap that you guys are putting out here. I'm not liking it. So Lucasfilm, and this, this article which is from, uh, I don't know what this is from, something. So what's on Disney Plus? <laughs> but Patty, Jenks, uh, Patty Jenkins was going to make a Cleopatra movie, <coughs> which was going to be released uh, starring Gal Gadot. But she exited that in order to focus on Rogue Squadron. Okay, a little confused here. I thought this was a pretty big deal. I know there was some flack about Cleopatra and the casting of Gal Gadot and a whole bunch of other stuff. But now Cleopatra's moving forward with the director from The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Carrie Scoglin, will take over as director so that she can focus on the Star Wars film and the third Wonder Woman movie. Third Wonder, Mo Wonder, Mo Wonder Woman movie hasn't even, like, hasn't started yet as far as i know it won't even start till 2023 and they were going to start pre-production apparently she claims she started pre-production on rogue squadron kind of interesting well let's go a little bit further back in the way back machine this is from the hollywood reporter and collider uh they're talking about patty jenkins and this is from July 4th, 2021. Back in the way, back machine, right? She claims her Star Wars movie, it's a whole other way of working. All wings reporting in. Patty Jenkins is making strides in pre-production. Wait a second, I thought they said there was no pre-production. Interesting. She's finishing up the script. Interesting. And... They're looking for a 2023 re release date. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Little confusing. It's 
let's keep going. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Uh, she's saying how it's amazing. I had been on it for six months before I was even announced. So we're pretty deep into it. We're finishing a script, crewing up, and it's all wonderful. I'm so excited about the story and excited that we're in the next chapter of Star Wars, which is such a responsibility, such an opportunity to really start some new things. It's really exciting in a new way. Yeah, the uh, she claims that she was fairly free to make the film that she wanted to. We saw what she did on Wonder Woman 1983 or 80, 19, Wonder Woman 84. But she had her own free way. That was a hot disaster. Uh, the interesting thing about the original Wonder Woman, it was still under the helm of Zack Snyder. And I'm not going to be the biggest Zack Snyder fanboy. I do like Zack Snyder. You guys should know that by now. But I'm definitely not... I'm, I'm going to say he had a part in it. You know what I mean? He gets some credit. You got to give the guy a little bit of credit. You know what I mean? It's just amazing. Now, movies aren't allowed to lose money anymore all of a sudden. Hmm, interesting. Shocker, right? You put out these movies and they don't make projections and expectations. You're like Taika Waititi and you get canned. So here's Patty Jenkins who made Wonder Woman 84 and maybe it didn't live up to standards. I mean, it's not a good movie. I don't think anyone can... There's not one person who could defend that movie. If you if you could defend that movie, put it in the comments below. Please let me know. But it's very interesting because this article came out before all this. Now, here's the only sad part that I'm going to say about all this. And we'll go... We're going to go back one more. This is from uprocks.com. This is from December 10th of 2020. Now... What I think is interesting about this is she shared a video, apparently, on which she talks about, and this is the director, Patty Jenkins, talking about her affection for piloting and her dad's career as a pilot. This is a quote from her. It ignited a desire in me to turn all that tragedy and thrill into one day making the greatest fighter pilot movie of all time. But try as I might, look as I did, I could not find the right story ever I kept looking and looking I just couldn't find the right one until now interesting and uh, it's kind of funny there's a there's a shot of her walking towards an X-wing parked in a runway with the orange jumpsuit on it's pretty interesting apparently her father was a fighter pilot now I don't I couldn't find the story like I couldn't confirm or deny this um, whether or not he died in combat, I'm not 100% sure. I could be totally off base on that. But clearly, either way, she was a big fan of the fact that, you know, sh she really appreciated this. Uh, her, her father was an Air Force pilot. So there's a strong personal connection to this story for her. And for her to get locked out of it and get locked out of Cleopatra just seems to be kind of a sad story i feel i feel something i feel sad for her on some level i think that given the opportunity maybe with guidance she's a perfectly competent director that's clear she made monster which i think she won like an oscar for or at least somebody according to that cast won an oscar i think there's something there i think she's a perfectly competent director i think she could do good under control which is given her free reigns so you're going to get something like 19 wonder woman 1984 which was not a good movie an incoherent mess absolutely just a disaster of a movie but i'd like to give her a shot on this it's a shame to see her lose her opportunity to do something that she was personally connected to what do you guys think below? Are you sad that Rogue Squadron is going away? Do you think Patty Jenkins needs another chance in Hollywood? I don't know what's on her career plate right now. This seems very devastating loss for her. Let me know in the comments below. Either way, check us out. We have a full-length audio podcast. You can stream for free anywhere. iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. Catch, out, catch our 10-second reviews and our shorts. And as for myself, I am on to the next one. Thank you.